At Deputy, we know scheduling and managing meal and rest breaks can be a real headache. That's why we've been hard at work creating a brand new feature called Break Planning, which gives you complete control over scheduling, managing and keeping track of employee breaks. This video will cover everything you need to know about break planning to help you get the most out of this feature. Note that on initial release, this will not feature on the mobile version. When creating new shifts or editing existing ones, you'll now notice more break options available in the Add Shift window. You'll see that you can add both meal and rest breaks, as well as allocate the time available for each one per employee. If your business requires employees to have several breaks throughout the day, you can add more breaks, as well as access more options by clicking on the Break Details button. From here, you can add more paid or unpaid meal or rest breaks to an employee's shift by clicking on Add Break, as well as allocate specific times that breaks should be taken by clicking the Set Break Start and End Time checkbox. You can delete breaks by clicking on the trash icon on the right of each break. We've also made it extremely easy to see where your employees' breaks are at a glance so you can immediately notice any overlaps or potential problems in the schedule. Once you have created breaks for your employees, simply switch the schedule screen to day view, either by employee or by area. On this screen, you will see shifts highlighted as normal. Unpaid breaks show up as a solid gray bar where they occur, with paid breaks showing up as gray lines. You can also view a single employee's breaks in the same way. Simply edit an employee shift and click on the graph icon in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. This will provide you with a graph of an employee shift with the breaks highlighted in the same way. You are able to customize break names to best reflect the needs of your business. To do this, click on the profile drop down menu in the top right corner of the Deputy Web App and click on Global Settings. You'll notice a new Breaks tab at the top. Here you'll find the option to rename your paid and unpaid breaks. By default in Deputy, a meal break is an unpaid break, while breast breaks are paid. If you decide to rename these, they will be changed to your preferred names when you are scheduling staff. You are able to customize the way your breaks work in the location settings. Head to the locations tab and click on edit settings next to a location, and then click on the timesheet option on the left hand side. If you scroll to the bottom, you will notice new options relating to breaks. The first is a toggle that allows employees to clock in early to shifts, with the option to select how long before their shift they can do this. The second setting can allow or prevent employees from ending their breaks early. The third gives Deputy the ability to automatically suggest breaks while approving timesheets. If breaks are not taken during an employee's shift, and the final option will cause break warnings to be displayed for missed breaks or breaks that are too short when approving timesheets. Scheduled staff will also notice changes to the kiosk as well as to the start shift section on the web app. On the Deputy Chaos screen, the break details will be available for employees to see with no action needed, while on web they can be accessed by clicking on the Break Details button. Employees can now see how long their breaks are and what times they are allocated to. When Start Break is selected, employees will be asked what break they would like to take if multiple breaks have been assigned. Based on your settings, you are now able to prevent employees from ending breaks early, and if they attempt to do this, they'll be greeted with a pop-up box informing them of the end time of their break. However, employees that have breaks that do not have specific start and stop times can begin and end their breaks whenever they like. Deputy will not automatically prevent them stopping breaks too early or too late. In some instances, managers may need to manually edit breaks after a shift has been completed. For instance, if an employee forgets to start or end their breaks through the kiosk or web, this is easy to do from the timesheet section in Deputy and works much the same way as when shifts are originally created. Simply select the type of break and duration, as well as the start and end times the break should have been taken at, and approve the timesheet. If an employee misses a break for a particular shift, a red notification icon may appear next to the shift details on the timesheet screen, depending on your location setting. All employee break details including to the minute start and stop times will be captured and stored in Deputy forever, making it easy for you to go back and check old timesheet details. We've also included custom shift and break templates that allow you to set the default number and length of breaks for your business, depending on the regulations of the state you are located in. To do this, navigate to the profile dropdown in the top right corner and click on the global setting option. Head to the Miss tab and click on shift templates. You should see a few different options. Click on the magnifying glass next to the option that's relevant for you, and then hit the default option at the top. At this stage, it's not possible to create your own shift templates, 
and we recommend you don't edit any of the detail within the Shift Templates tab. Your brake should now automatically adjust to reflect these changes, with the option to manually adjust times or add further brakes if required. Please be aware these brake templates are exclusive to key US states and are a guide only. Always be sure to check your local compliance regulations when scheduling your employee brakes. Brake planning will make it easier than ever to manage employee brakes in deputy long term and ensure your staff are adequately rested. We hope this feature will allow you to continue running your business as efficiently as possible with deputy.